Courtesy of Intel, this week we're giving away yet another Intel Android tablet. Congratulations, Cassie Lowe, last week's recipient of an Intel Android tablet, for successfully participating, telling us her favorite entertainment app, including the hashtag Intel Android, and making sure to tag me somewhere in the tweet. This week, all you gotta do is the same thing, except tell me what your favorite news app is. Good luck, everybody, and thanks again to Intel for supporting our community. YouTube may finally have a streaming music service. Makes sense, but it's a few years overdue. Spotify is making tons of money for artists, as well they should. I think it's well within the artist's right to generate revenue from the things they've created. YouTube's kind of done an okay job with that in certain content creators to this point. But what could they do to bring people in to YouTube's music streaming subscription service, whatever they're going to call it, however they're going to promote it. Even if it was free, I don't know how many people would say switch away from their current music streaming provider. I probably would not. But I will tell you this, when I wanted to listen to a song at any point in the past, I'd go to YouTube. I'd search specifically for the song. Even if I had an active subscription service, with another provider, or if I had the media outright, if I could listen to the MP3 directly on a local system, it was easier to go to YouTube and press a play button. I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. So YouTube has the brand, obviously Google owns YouTube. They have the cachet. They have the ability to pull something like this off and make it successful. But can YouTube even compete directly with dedicated music streaming services? That's what they do. It's just full on music. YouTube's kind of everything. Music's already on YouTube. It's how I see most of the video that I watch on a daily basis. If it ain't on YouTube, I don't know if it's video today. Facebook's trying. But, as I mentioned earlier, they may still be a few years off. Now, Facebook, I think, would have the ability to pull off a music streaming service. YouTube, I, I don't know. It remains to be seen. So I, I don't know uh, if YouTube can pull this off, if Google can pull it off. I don't know what more they can give us, unless it's a lot more, if it's a compelling argument. If they make it better, not just more affordable, I am willing to pay. I have no problem paying if it's a good experience. You're never going to hear me say that they have to go free, never. It may be the way they have to compete, but I think if given the choice, most people would prefer to pay for something than to put up with an endless stream of ads. Most people. I, mean, I could be wrong. Maybe people like you know, putting up with ads and interruptions. Me? If I had a choice and I really wanted something, I'm willing to pay for it. If I want food, I'm willing to pay for it. If I want something to drink, I'm willing to pay for it. If I want anything, that's telling me something. It's telling me I want it. But does the marketplace want another music streaming service? It could be a lot too late. For YouTube to try it, but it's absolutely worth a shot. More competition, that's good for every single consumer who is in this marketplace of listening. That's a lot of people. People who are more entertained by listening to music than listening to some random nerd's wall shake because he has an overactive washer on the other side.